You have reached Reginald's Toy Club Review. I'm your man, Red Steel. And today, I have a very special review because I will be reviewing WWE Ultimate Edition, The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. WWE Ultimate Edition, Cody Rhodes. But before I get to the actual review, I just want to go over some of the awesome details on this packaging. Up front here, the Timbo's Play Wonder showing you both the figure and all the accessories inside. And on top here it says, The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Then in the corner here you have the 8 Plus, which is the age requirement for this figure. And down here you have the WWE Ultimate Edition logo. In the corner here you have the Mattel emblem. And across the bottom here it says, Ultimate Articulation for Authentic Posability. Now on top of the packaging here, you have the WWE Ultimate Edition logo. In the corner here, you have Rhodes. Now inside of the packaging here, on the top, you have the WWE Ultimate Edition logo. And over here it says, The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Now inside of the packaging here, on the very top, you have the WWE emblem. And down here, you have a profile picture of Cody Rhodes. And down here, it says, The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Now the back of the packaging here, in the very corner, you have a holographic sticker that says, Official Licensed Product. Then over here, you have a picture of the actual figure. In the middle here, you have the WWE Ultimate Edition logo. And over here, it says, The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And down here, you have an actual picture of Cody Rhodes. Then over here, you have an actual profile of Cody Rhodes. He is 6 feet 2 inches tall. He is from Atlanta, Georgia. Finisher, Crossroads, Career Highlights, Intercontinental Champion. Then down here, you have a little copy that says, Cody Rhodes returned to WWE for one reason, to finish the story his father, the American Dream Dusty Rhodes started, and finally win the WWE Championship. At WrestleMania 39, the American Nightmare got his chance to compete for the WWE Universal Championship in the main event. Then down here you have the Mattel logo and next to that it says, empowering the next generation through play. WWE Ultimate Edition, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes was released on June 15, 2024 with the suggested retail price of $53.99 and he's available at all major retailers. Cody Rhodes was released along with the other WB Ultimate Edition Wave 21 figures, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Cody Rhodes has over 30 points of articulation for true to life authentic posability. His accessories include his authentic entrance gear, swappable head, belt, and two swappable hands. Cody Rhodes stands six inches tall and he is meant for fans ages eight and up. And that Cody Rhodes on my display table. I just want to go over some of his play features and accessories. First of all, I talk about his belt. This is supposed to be his weight belt that he wears to the ring during his entrance. This belt is more like a white rubbery plastic. Some paint detail back here. You have gold paint outlined with silver. Very nicely done, and at the end of the belt here, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's some little portholes in there, and that's where the little prongs for the buckle go in to kind of make the belt adjustable. But this belt is not adjustable, but they also molded the prongs on the back of the belt. Very nicely done. In order to put this belt on Cody Rhodes, I'm going to go and turn Cody Rhodes all the way around. You want know, to make sure the, co the Cody's facing the wrong way, right way, I'm sorry, not wrong way. And at the end of the belt, you have a little porthole right there, and you have a little peg right there. What you want to do is you want to take that peg and wrap that belt around so that porthole kind of goes over that peg just like that. And you got to kind of force that peg into that hole only because that peg's a little bit larger than the hole. And now I got it popped in place just like that. And now you have Cody Rhodes with his entrance belt on. Very cool. You got Cody in the back here. And this figure is just chock full of detail. I mean, if you look at the head sculpt right here, I mean, that looks just like Cody. I mean, with the modern technology, with the ability to scan the actual, you know, wrestler's face and put it on a figure, it's, it's just amazing. And there's a lot of paint detail on here. Like you got the tattoo on his neck with the Cody, the American Nightmare insignia on his neck right there. 
You have Dream on his chest. He even has some hair, some hair right here on his chest. And you got some vein detail on his biceps here. Got admin detail. I mean, the knee pads are also molded out like a rubbery plastic, and I believe they do slip off. I mean, and this, this figure sports 30 points of articulation, starting with the toe articulation, ankle, boot, knee. You got the thigh. You got the hip. You got the waist. You got the abdomen right here. You got butterfly joints. You have shoulder, double elbows, wrist, and head. It's very nicely done. And head's on a ball socket joint, so you can turn it all kinds of different positions. The only problem I have with a lot of the paint detail is, like the paint detail kind of, you only can keep in one position if you want to display them correctly. I believe like that. Because you move them around, it kind of separates the tattoo a little bit. So I'm going to put Cody Rhodes just like that. And Cody Rhodes comes chock full of accessories. I know I just talked about the belt. The next accessory I'm going to talk about is his ring jacket. Unfortunately, I prefer to put my ring jacket on after pulling out the arms. And, re and these arms are also interchangeable. So, you go ahead and pull this swappable arm out. You got a peg at the end of the shoulder right here. And inside the shoulder here, you have a little porthole. Go pop that out. Because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to slip that jacket around it. And as you can see with this jacket, you got a peg right there, right there. And inside the belt right here. You guys can see that. You got pull holes right there, right there, and right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap the jacket so the two larger pegs go into the holes. And you take this belt buckle right here, and you peg that right in a place just like that. And now I have Cody Rhodes with his entrance jacket on. Now I know it looks kind of creepy because he has no arms right now. And there's a reason behind that because he's. Okay, swappable arms also are part of this jacket here. So in order to put these arms on, you take that peg, put it right in that porthole, just like that. Do that to the other side, to this arm, peg it right in place, just like that. And these arms also support the same amount of articulation as the original arm. And what's also cool is these fists at the end of the arms are also interchangeable. I'm going to pull out this swappable fist right here. At the end of the hand here, you have a peg. And it's got like a, it's like tapered. And at the end of the wrist right here, you have a porthole. Just take this fist and just plug it right into that porthole. And now you have him with his default hand. I'm going to do it to the other side. I got this, this default arm. Move the fist. Take that peg. Put it right in the wrist just like that. It pops. And now you have Cody Rhodes with his hands. With his default hand. These hands are nicely detailed. You see this to them tape detail right here, which wraps around the palms almost to the first knuckle. And this other hand, his left hand, has this on the index finger right here. Very nicely done. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring his other two swappable hands that come out of the package. And there's so much detail. Mattel is like the master at, at detail. I mean, look at the hands here. You got knuckle detail, you know some veins here. You got finger detail, you got fingernail detail, you flip it over, you got palm detail. Even got the little wrinkle right there in between the indentation of the fingers. It's very nicely done. It's a such great detail. But Cody Rose also comes with a swappable head. And as I mentioned earlier on with the scanning technology, it's just crazy. I mean, look at the tongue. Tongue detail, you have teeth detail. Nuts. I mean, like the cheek, you see the veins, you see the wrinkle on the forehead. It just, it's crazy how, how, how surreal these, these sculpts are, I mean, they're just like the actual person. But in order to interchange these swappable heads, these heads are on a ball socket joint. So you just pop the head right out. At the end of the neck, you have a ball socket. Bottom of the head, you have a little ball socket port. All you have to do is just pop it right into place, just like that. And these heads are just easily swappable. But let me go over some of this detail with this jacket, because I mean, I went over detail of the actual figure, but I mean, even the jacket has some great detail. On the back of this jacket, you have the American Nightmare Insignia right here. You have some gold detail right here, some paint detail, and if you shine it to a certain angles of light, you do get that dull luster. I mean, through and through, you have like a button detail right here, more button details. I mean, even the fabric here has kind of a, like a leathery, leathery texture, so it does have that weird fabric feel to it, as does the belt. The belt has kind of like that feel where there's that texture on it where it feels like it's actual leather. And you have some like parts of this jacket where it feels like it's cloth detail. It's so nicely done. And I mean, it is molded out of, like a rubbery plastic. This is not cloth whatsoever. There's no soft goods on this figure, but it, I mean, to the naked eye, 
you know, it fooled me like, when I saw the actual production pictures of this, of this figure. But Cody Rhodes is an excellent figure. And I'm surprised they produced a, a Cody figure for the Ultimate Edition this early because I usually believe that Ultimate Edition figures are more meant for like le WWE Legends. But I mean, Cody Rhodes is a legend in the making. I'm going to go ahead and rotate him around so you can see what it looks like from all angles. I mean, I would highly recommend picking up this figure. If you're a big Cody Rhodes fan or not, it's a great figure to have. But if you guys want any of the information in this review available, well, please like and share this video. Also, if you really enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, click the bell to be notified of any future videos. I want to thank you guys for watching. Red Seals Awesome Toy Click Review. I'll check you guys out next time.